Hello everyone, how are you doing? This video is specially for NEET 2025 and 2026 aspirants. This is Amirash and today we will be analyzing the NEET 2024 paper along with the expected cutoff. Starting with the subject wise analysis because that's going to give us a clearer idea. So physics if I talk about, it was a little tough as well as lengthy. So I can say it was related to the 2021 level. 2022 and 2023 physics was really very straightforward, formula based, but this had concepts. There is one difficult subject and rest easy. So this year it was physics. Like last year it was chemistry. Talking about chemistry, chemistry units divided into three parts, physical, organic, inorganic. Physical was a little calculative. Calculative in the sense there were a few questions like activation energy one, then osmotic pressure one then um, one stoichiometry related question so it was fine calculative but doable like why did i write calculative here because in the past few years if you've analyzed physical chemistry used to be one formula and your answer is there not that kind of little lengthy okay organic was easy all the reactions and stability of carbocation and goc related things were from ncrt you could have solved easily inorganic was easy Inorganic was basically the lines of NCRT again. Questions were picked up from there. So chemistry was one of the easiest sections this, this time for the person who has studied all the formulae for the person who has studied NCRT. And my chemistry has personally gone really well. So I will be guiding you for chemistry throughout, you know, throughout the two years, NEET 2025 and NEET 2026. Biology, if I talk, talk about, it was easy but lengthy. I mean... Unlike last year, wherein more of direct uh, questions were there in bio, this time we had a lot of match the columns, which would take at least a little more time than the direct questions, a lot of match the columns. And for the very first time, a lot of diagram based questions were introduced. Like one was this coleoptile question, that monocot one, this one, that from which of the following part the root arises. For the people who studied morphology, they must be knowing that from the radical it arises. Which was, this was marked as C, this was marked as D. So C is the radical, D is the coleorizer. So the answer becomes C. Diagram based question. One FSH LH diagram based question was also seen and many more like uh, wind pollination related. So easy but lengthy in the sense doable but you'll ha have to invest a little more time. Okay. 11th if I talk about 48% of the paper was from 11th. Let me come this side. 48% of the paper was from 11th, 52% of the paper was from 12th. Especially 12th was highly dominated by physics mainly. In the physics section, 12th dominated over 11th. Biology section, almost equal. Chemistry section, almost equal. Overall moderate paper like every year. Okay. I, I can't say that this year it was too easy or too difficult because it depends from person to person, right? And also depends on you how, how you perform during those three hours one is just performing okay at the house or in your coaching institute and one is actually going to the center and proving yourself so that is a very um complicated thing kind of because you need eq along with iq so eq is emotional caution how you're handling the stress how you're handling the pressure and everything that's important for need 2025 and 26 chemistry guidance i will be providing you a lot of videos for guiding you throughout like the best books which you need the best resources which you need to follow how many questions to practice physical organic and organic separately i'll be telling you that in physical which points uh, how did i attempt my chemistry organic and organic and score related thing i know you guys are asking so you know it's a little strange to tell right now but I don't know, I just don't feel like, you know, after the result, if I share, that will be better. But I can say this, that I will get a government medical college seat. This much I can share right now. So, yes, I am selected. You can say like this. I've qualified for the exam to be a part of the counseling, basically. Huh. Organic and organic, I can say I've got full marks in the organic part because that used to be my strongest. And it was from NCRT. Nothing much was there. Inorganic was also easy. So, from chemistry perspective, it was easier than 2023 and 2023 assertion reasoning questions were asked from chemistry. This year, there was just one assertion reasoning that too very easy. Let's discuss about the most important conclusions from here. The most important conclusions. For NEET 2025 aspirants, let me tell you, any one subject will be a little tough. This is the concept of every single year. Every single year, the same thing happens. So one of the subject will be tough. The rest two will be easy to moderate. That can depend 
let me use nts very cheap pen <laughs> to actually highlight the thing okay rest two will be easy to moderate now a very important conclusion to derive is no selective study guys selective study in the sense let me just study the most important topics and leave the remaining this time nta played the game nta gave the questions from the least important topics like magnetism and matter had around two three questions for the first time like from the past two three years i haven't seen even a single question from there and this time around four questions i mean question was asked on polarization rolling motion and uh, alpha beta dk which is uh, which is to be present in the old ncrt as well as the deleted syllabus so the conclusion is that NTA is still asking questions from old NCRT, especially in anatomy and morphology of flowering plants. So please don't ignore that. And from the deleted syllabus, also questions were asked like rolling motion. I told you it's ab ab absolutely deleted from the syllabus. In my mock tests, I never found this question. So um, polarization also polarization was there in the syllabus. So no worries about that. And alpha DK was not in the syllabus, but the question was easy. So it was fine. And Finally, talking about the neat cutoff, that is very important. As per last year trend analysis, the safe score, if I talk about, safe score is like 620 plus as of now for the general category. And it depends on your state as well as how the cutoff goes, how what the rank is at 620 marks. Um, I think it is going to be a safe score. Anything between 600 to 620 is like, you know, a little unsafe. It depends on luck if you'll get to college or not and the students who've scored lesser than 600 okay anything related to this it is difficult if you belong to the general category for other category students you can um, subtract around 50, 40 50 I don't know depends on your category how much you'll get SC ST different uh, cutoff plans are there so you can actually have a look I'm talking about general cutoff specifically so 620 plus is going to be a good score and higher and higher it goes uh, with the college that you prefer. So that was it for the session. I hope that you liked it and do not forget to subscribe the channel. Bye bye.